This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we talk everything about WordPress and today we are gonna see a new plugin called PeachPay. So what it does it can add a different kind of add to cart option or a checkout page to your WooCommerce page. So either you can download it from here and include it using plugin menu or you can go to plugins and add new and here you can search for peach pay so this one peach pay checkout for woocommerce so it has type paypal square and cart payment g pay apple pay all of them included so click on install now And after installation, you have to click on activate. Click on activate. So, this is very easy plugin. You do not have to do much. You just have to approve to read and write permission of PeachPay. And you can either fill in the details. You have to agree to terms and condition and these detail you can skip if you want and you can try peach pay in test mode simply by clicking on continue here or you can link in with stripe or paypal so now it will open up your dashboard So here you can set up the checkout button or see what you can do. So this is the dashboard of PeachPay. So here we have appearance. Each one of it has a watch tutorial. So if you get stuck anywhere, you can see the tutorial. It's a YouTube video tutorial. So how it will look like. So the theme main theme colors will be orange and white. You can change it like this simply and if you have any issues you can just click on this chat option and type in here your issue you can turn on the icons you can turn on the over effect and now how the button will display so let me show you how button looks like So if I go to my shop page and here the card button is shown. So this is how the button looks like. You can customize the button position also. So if I click on any product. So this one is out of stock. Let's go with someone which is in stock. So this one, the express checkout is shown. So this is where the product in product page, the button will be shown. So you can customize where it shows in mobile in arrangement. You can arrange it below or above add to cart. So now you can enable or disable the cart page. And the checkout page also, you can enable or disable the checkout place. The floating button, how the floating button looks like. The preview is shown here. And checkout window, you can turn it on to show a shadow around button inside the checkout window.
now if you go to uh, let me click on save So this is the general setting language you can choose which language to show on or it will detect from the page you can remove the data on install you can check this box for my merchant logo like logo of your website so i'll go with anything like this one and now if anyone after hitting on save changes if anyone checks out view the cart by this not the default card your site logo will be shown and here are the product images that are shown so you can disable this product image if you want in the setting itself this is a support message here you can display product image you can turn it off and now if you click on save changes the product will not be shown in cart so now if i refresh it and go to my cart you can see the items image is not shown but it is always advisable to turn it on so that the buyer can see the item this is the payment so you can customize the payment gateway so here you can make peach pay only check out checkout method so this is not available in test mode but if you set up the payment gateways then it will be available you can set up stripe apple pay g pay any other payment method next is button preferences so how the button looks like the appearance which we have shown just now next is field editor so different kinds of field when you open up the checkout so all of this field you can edit it here this is product recommendation so whenever someone tries to add cart or see the option he will get a product recommendation so you can customize this product recommendation here you can do it manually you can add different kind of products here that will show up in every product recommendation so just you have to type in half the name and it will search for it and click on save changes so choose how recommendation appears so this is where the recommendation will appear now if i go here the recommendation is shown here simply and you can customize it next is on click upsell so after payment you can decide when to do it you can enable it so the pop up will be shown to the user whenever they are on the checkout you can select the product like i will 
select this one and now the primary header recommended for you this is how it will look like and click on save changes so now a pop-up will appear whenever anyone clicks on checkout so the currency you want to show you can enable currency switcher and the last thing is advanced option so in advances you have custom CSS option or custom JS option so you can type in your own CSS or JS you can watch the tutorial if you have any doubt how to do it so this is how you can customize PHP on your own website and when you go to your store this is how it will look and this is how it will look on product page as we have selected So thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress